Well, I hope you're having a great week. I'm Todd Gacky with the Family Foundation with another Facebook video update. You may recall last week we talked about the upcoming Virginia March for Life, which is going to be held on April 3rd. This week we're going to transition back to talking some, about some policy issues, in particular parental rights. And we're going to do so from our new building. We're in a, in a room where we will host worldview classes for high school and college students, which we're very excited about. You might be aware about an elementary school in Arlington, Virginia, it's Ashlawn Elementary, and they participated in a national day of reading the book, I Am Jazz, and this book teaches young children that you can have a boy body, but also have a girl brain, and this really conflicts with the values and principles of families all across Virginia. Uh, the school did send home a letter to the parents, they sent it home with the kindergarten students, uh, that stated what the book would be, when it would be read, and that the book was going to be presented um, to the class. But it did not give the parents any instructions on their ability to opt the child out of that lesson. And so these are some of the issues that we're dealing with here in Virginia that really, conf that really challenge parental rights. And there was some legislation this year during the General Assembly to address these types of issues. In particular, there was House Bill 2107, patroned by Margaret Ransom. This bill was um, brought forward because some graphic audiovisual material on anti-bullying had been presented to some classes in, the, in, the, in Virginia at some schools. And it was very graphic, dealing with suicide. And it deeply troubled some students and, and, and family uh, and parents. And so she brought forward this bill that would allow parents to review these graphic materials and even give them an opportunity to opt them out based on the content of those materials. So this is a really a great step forward in, in giving parents the rights um, and the opportunities to review uh, graphic material and be engaged in their child's education. The bill passed the House and the Senate, and it now sits on the governor's desk awaiting his signature. We've sent out an action alert encouraging everyone to contact the governor's office. Tell him you support this bill, that this is, a, this is important for you and your rights as a parent to um, to decide what is best for your child and their education. You might ask, what else can you do to get engaged in, in your child's education? Uh, I can say one effort might be to get engaged in your PTA, your local PTA, volunteer at your school, uh, be engaged in those, in those ways to get to know the parents and the administrators. Uh, it might also be helpful to go to school board meetings. Be willing and able to speak up on important issues that you are concerned with or that you support. Um, your activism, your ability to get up and just voice your opinion can have a great impact on education here in Virginia. So we thank you so much for your support. We ask that you continue to follow us on Facebook. And if you want to find other ways to get involved in your locality, please contact us. You can go to our website for contact information. We hope you have a great weekend. God bless you all.